In this chapter, we'll look at the new Remote Control Editor. The all-new Remote Control Editor gives you a convenient way to control your VST plugins from an external control surface. It supports many advanced hardware controllers right out of the box. You can visually customize the parameter layout of individual effects and instruments on your control surface, and change modes for faders and knobs. Plus, the Learn mode makes it even easier to assign parameters. The Remote Control Editor is designed to allow hardware control of VST plugin effects. To access the Remote Control Editor, call up a plugin. A quick way to do this is by double clicking on an insert or send effect. Then right click on the plugin. Select Remote Control Editor from the drop down. But be careful where you right click. If you right click on a control, Cubase will offer you access to the automation and quick controls instead. Each one of these controls is called a cell, and each one can be assigned to a different parameter of the plugin. You can see that Cubase automatically connected the most logical controls on this plugin. When you activate the cell, it moves the matching control on the plugin. To the left of the editor are controls for changing the cell name and behavior. You can type in a main label. You can also add an eight letter, four letter label as well to accommodate different display sizes. Down below are controls that let you customize exactly how the knob will behave. Changing the knob style helps you make sure the control is perfectly matched to the type of parameter. For example, pan-like style puts the zero point at the top center with a left and right offset. But the center grow style is better for representations of functions that affect both sides at once, like reverb diffusion. And the single dot style gives you a cleaner look. You also have the ability to invert control value by ticking this box. And the hide when inactive option will help keep your screen clear of unused cells. It's easy to link a cell to a parameter. Click on the cell to bring it into focus, which also highlights it. Then click on the L icon to activate learn mode, which will cause this outline to appear. You can also press the L on your computer's keyboard to toggle learn mode on and off. Now, move the parameter you want to control. Now that the link is established, the two move together. To add more pages, click the plus symbol to the right. And to remove pages, click the minus symbol. Remote Control Editor supports Avid System 5, MC, Avid Artist Series, Mackie Control, Steinberg Houston, WK Audio's ID, and the Yamaha DM2000, and more, right out of the box. The easiest way to call up different layouts is with the drop-down menu at the top. Select the option that matches your control surface, and the Remote Control Editor reconfigures to match it. Some layouts use switches, for example, the Artist Series or the Yamaha APS. To view the switch assignment, click the I icon. This activates Inspection View. Controls for the upper and lower switches appear automatically. And you can customize their behavior using the drop down menu. You can clear all the assignments with the reset button. And you can restore the default factory layout with the curved arrow icon. Finally, you can create additional layouts by clicking on the tab with the plus symbol and selecting a layout. Now let's move on to the next chapter and explore the new MemZap feature.